Hi friends, in this session we study uh, about how to represent an irrational number on number line. So we study in this session about the representation of irrational number on number line. So first of all uh, we see that if you have to represent square root of 2 on number line, so we see what how we will do it. If you have to find the square root of uh, 2 on number line, how we represent this on number line. So first we draw a line with the help of ruler or dice scan. So first we draw a number line. this you have to on a number line here and uh, we put some mark on this number line uh, in same interval we take the units on number line so what we will do I am taking one unit is equal to 5 centimeter here This is our firm, this is our 2 unit and this is our 3 unit. The, the 5 centimeter is equal to 1 unit we are attacking here. Uh, this is our 0 on number line. Now, we give the name to this number. This is over 0, this is over 1, this is over 2 and 3, so on. So we get in this way. So the number line we have, uh, we have number line here also. So I increase the length of this number line from here. So wait, I increase this. Now to here. This is the number line we have. Uh, it is our 0, 1, 2, 3, this is our 1 unit, 2 unit and 3 unit. Now we have to represent this square root of 2 on this number line. So what we will do first, we will draw a perpendicular at 1 on this number line. So for this we use uh, set square for making the perpendicular here. So we have this set square we are using here for making a perpendicular. Uh, I am using this. Uh, look at here. So we will draw a perpendicular here at 1. So we have draw one perpendicular here and uh, Now, we take one unit arc here, cut this perpendicular uh, at one unit. So, we will use for this our compass. This is our compass, and uh, this is our point. This is our the one unit. So, we will measure one unit here. is our one unit so I am putting this here 
and now I cut one unit here on this perpendicular so this is one unit I have cut here so this is from here to here we have one unit I give some name to these points now uh, I am giving the name 0 uh, P point this is our Q point and this is our A point so now I meet P and A here 0 to A I meet here with the help of an scale Uh, I am taking ruler here and uh, we make this and we are joining P and A or the 0 or A whatever you can you could say this so I join this So I join this now. Now we know that by Pythagoras theorem, by Pythagoras theorem. We know that in a triangle, the side opposite to right angle is called hypotenuse and the square of side opposite to hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the square of other two sides. So here by the Pythagoras theorem, we know that P A square, P A square is equal to P Q square plus Q A square. Here we know that the distance from <coughs> P to Q is one unit we have and Q to A is also one unit we have taken the same arc here. So we put these values here. So P A square is equal to 1 square plus 1 square so P A square is equal to 1 plus 1 implies that P A square is equal to 2 therefore if we take the square root of this so P A is equal to square root of 2 so distance from P to A is square root of 2 so now we make the same arc here put here and uh, look at here so we make an arc here on number line so we get here OA is equal to this point we say it is the root 2 this it in the it is our R point I give the name to this point R so PA is equal to PR because the radius is same always in a circle of the arc so <coughs> to the arc is always same so it is PR is root 2 because it is our root 2 we have seen here PA is root 2 so PR is also root 2 so this position describes the irrational number square root of 2 on number line now the same way if I have to find out the square root of root 3 
square root of root 3. So what, how we will get it? Now we will draw a perpendicular on OA. So first I draw the perpendicular on OA with the help of a, um, of a set square. I put here this set square. Uh, look at here. Uh, putting this set square here. No, it's okay. Now uh, I'm putting it here and uh, acting a perpendicular on OA. So I get here. This I'm at the perpendicular here now. So this is the perpendicular I make on here. So I put here the symbol of perpendicular. This is the perpendicular now. Now I will again take one unit uh, arc here, arc of one unit. So one unit we measure through our compass. So this is our compass. We use here compass for uh, measuring one unit. Putting here. I change the color of that needle so we could easily judge. This is our one unit now. Now I put this compost here and turn it. Cut an arc of one unit here. This is our arc of one unit I have cut here. I put this here now. Now I will join P and this our point is B. We give the name to this point B. This is our B point. Now we join PB. So we see what happens with the help of ruler. Uh, this is our ruler, so I put this ruler here and turn this in this way and, uh, and now some small piece there. Ah, this is okay now. So I will join these uh, P and B here. So we are joining this P and B. So we have joined this. Now from P to B we see in triangle. Now in triangle uh, now in triangle. P A B P A B angle A is 90 degrees we have so P B is the hypotenuse of this triangle P A B because it is opposite to the 90 degree angle so P B square is equal to P A square plus A B square we have this so we put here PA, PA we know that it is square root of 2, it is the square of square root of 2 and AB is 1 unit, we have taken here 1 unit arc, so it is 1 square, so it is 2 square, uh, root 2 square is 2 plus 1, it is 2 plus 1, uh, now the PB square is equal to 3 therefore the square root of both the sides we take so pb is equal to square root of 3 so we are getting a square root of 3 here so pb is a square root of 3 if you take uh, the length of pb and make an same arc 
on number line we get square root of 3 so with the help of compass we do the, uh, this thing so I use the compass here for this I put this compass here middle okay now I move this here I change the color so we could easily judge okay this we have done here now a little bit I twist it here now I make an arc of uh, this PB which is square root of 3 up to number line so I get here uh, this point we give the name to this point is S and this is the length of PS is square root 3 because the length of PB is square root 3 therefore PS is the same as PB so it is the square root 3 so in this way we could draw the uh, irrational number we can uh, plot an irrational number on number line uh, root 2 root 3 and root 5 root 6 in this way thank you